Today I finally get to check out the brand new Landers here in BGC. This Landers isn't nearly as big as the location that they have in Pasig, I believe it is. This is much bigger than I thought. This is awesome. Well, I was completely, completely wrong with my original assessment. This place is way bigger than I thought it is. It is absolutely massive. They've got so much stuff. What an exciting, exciting day again today. Today, I finally get to check out the brand new landers here in BGC. Nelly and I discovered that this place opened up just after we got back to the Philippines and it's super cool because previously to go to landers would be quite far for us, but this one is literally just down the road. So right off the bank, I can tell that this landers isn't nearly as big as the location that they have in Pasig, I believe it is. Um, but they do have a great selection and this place is super, super modern and super, super nice. Wow. Okay, I just realized it is a little bigger than I thought because it is actually on two levels and not just on one. And I was just at the lower level where they have mainly like the toiletries and that kind of stuff. And I think on level two, where I'm headed to with the elevator now, uh, that's where you get the actual like food, fresh food, frozen food, meats, that kind of stuff. So let's see. Oh yeah, this is much bigger than I thought. This is awesome. Okay, so here we have like the tea and coffee section. I don't really need tea or coffee. I'm all set on that. So let's skip this part here. And then here are the snacks. Wow, they have some German Weissbier here, which is quite cool. And they got quite the beer selection. And oh, they have this, yeah. I wonder if sales have dipped on this in recent years. Strongbow, actually this used to be a client of our agency in Austria a few years ago. Interesting to see it here in the Philippines now. Ooh, Whole Garden, a very good Weissbier, I like that one. Oh, really cool. And then some other artisan kind of like drink uh, cold beverages. We got some iced coffee, iced tea. Ooh, apple cider vinegar refresher. The daily dose of wellness. I think I'm gonna give this a try. And then they have this really cool area with like baked goods. They call it dough and co. So they have breads, cakes, cookies, donuts, all that good stuff. And also the ice creams. Now I am trying to stay rather healthy at the moment. So I'll try and stay away from these ice cream shelves. Yeah, the place looks very, very cool. Look at that. Oh, and here we get into the part that excites me the most. It's the deli section. So we have the, the cold cuts, the cheeses, the meats, the sausages. This is where I'm going to dig in. You guys have to give these a try. These are Käsekrein, a very, very popular in Austria. It's actually an Austrian brand. And it's cheese-filled sausages. And if you get like little slices into them before you fry them in the pan, like some cheese will ooze out and become crusty. It's really, really good. These are also very popular in Austria, uh, which is kind of like a spicy sausage. And obviously the bratwurst, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. They have such a great selection of meats here. They even have like thin sliced meats for like Korean barbecue or like a hot pot kind of thing. Some uh, pork chops here. Oh, it looks really, really appetizing. I love it. Over here we have some more pork. All different kinds of cuts, like everything that you could need. We have some ground beef, fresh meat section. And then over here, we actually have the poultry section. Nice. So I bought myself an air fryer. So wherever I'm staying in Subic Bay, I can just uh, bring the air fryer with and kind of uh, make different kinds of foods with very little use of fat which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm just looking for foods that I can easily cook in an air fryer. And I think there are a lot of options. Uh, I also think I'm gonna go for more like frozen dishes, uh, just because it's easier to handle. I don't have to worry about it going bad on the drive to Subic Bay. And then I can slowly defrost it in the fridge once I arrive there and just cook it throughout the days that I'm there. Uh, so let me know if you guys have any cool uh, air fryer recipes that you like to do at home if you have an air fryer. Uh, please do share them in the comments down below. Uh, the seafood section looks really, really nice. Look at all this fresh seafood. Wow. Yeah, the fresh produce here also looks really, really good. Wow. Nice. I'd 
finding it hard to decide what to get actually. There's more over there. Nelly did ask me to bring some nice watermelon, but I'm not as good as Nelly is as picking it up. But this one does look nice and red. Nelly was kind of like mux and spool. She says the ones that sound hollow are the best. So this one kind of sounds hollow. And over here they have an, an organic section. So it's like, it seems to be exclusively organic products that you can buy here. It's quite good that it's like sorted out separately. Makes it easier to find it. I'm not in the market for anything specifically organic right now, uh, but let's just take a look through anyway. Okay, this is cool. I was completely, completely wrong with my original assessment. This place is way bigger than I thought it is. It just like, you, you come around every corner and you find another few hundred square meters of product. It is absolutely massive. I'm kind of shocked at how much space there is inside here because it really did look small when I entered, but they've got so much stuff. Ooh, here we've arrived at like the boozy first Dalmore, the Dalmore, a Philippine owned Scottish whiskey brand, which we learned just this year. Let's see, let's see. I'm actually looking for some things for our bar to stock up. So I need kind of like Pari and some vermouth as well. So let's see what I can find. All right, the upper level is so, so big. I was like, I literally got lost going in circles around here, but I found the elevator again. So I'm gonna head down and uh, go to the cash registers. Actually, I didn't buy too much stuff. It's less than I expected to buy. But um, I'm just looking for something that's kind of like pre-packaged, kind of small. What they're good at here is having big packaging. So you'll have like, I don't know, 10 chicken fillets in one package, but that's way too much. I just need like one protein uh, per day or two maybe. So like two chicken breasts. <laughs> so I'll go to another store for that, but I'm glad that I found a few things that I did look for. So yeah. And then over here, we have some like coffee options and some restaurants where you can buy some snacks after you've eaten. So it's really cool and it's a really nice design of the whole place. And I believe this is not completely open yet. There'll be more stores inside of this actual building. So yeah, here you see the Landis Central. We can get like, oh, you can even get beer here, pizza, soup, salads, breads, baked goods. So it's like full on western food. Those pizzas actually look quite good. Hello! <laughs> Those pizzas look delicious actually. Look at that. And then you have a seating area where you can enjoy the goods that you just bought. I just love it how the shopping carts just stay stuck here on the escalators till you're at the bottom. It's kind of cool. All right, guys, I'm back at home again. It is so incredibly hot outside. It is so strenuous every time you leave the house. Let me know how you deal with this heat in the Philippines at the moment in the comments down below. Also, let me know, have you visited this new Landis location in BGC? Honestly, I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. You walk a lot because it's like a long path to go through the whole thing. And I was quite surprised how big it is because I was told it's, it's a lot less large than the one in Pasig. <laughs> It's a far smaller version of a large <laughs> yeah. uh, Landers. But I saw it last time when we just passed through and it looks so incredibly modern. Oh, it's so um, modern. So beautiful with the wood everywhere and just these design elements. Everything is kind of Instagrammable. So I'm very excited for these grocery stores because grocery shopping became an experience. So you just yeah. go there and you feel very homey. There are a lot of um, food options as well. So yeah, next time I'll join you. I was yeah. just cleaning. So anyway, if, you, if you've been to this Landers, let me know what you think of it. Let me know where you usually go to get groceries. What's your favorite grocery store? And with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place from to stay awesome. Be positive and make it happen. Bye-bye. Just need a few to be, do that thing until they see You know what to do now